So look what I have here. These, this is just beautiful. These bags complement every outfit, don't you think? Okay, so I have two goodie bags here, guys. It was my birthday on September the 18th. So where I was for my birthday, there was a Sephora. Yay, there was a Sephora. And then, like, a couple of days later, I went back and I said, you know what? I still have a gift card for my birthday, so let me buy something else. So I have two bags here. So I want to show you my first bag, and then I also have a special happy in this video as well that I want to show you guys. So it's something I've been wanting for a very, 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 very long time, and I'm so happy to have it. So one thing I want to show you guys is that it's been a while since I've purchased something from the drugstore as far as eyeshadows. I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows and they have this limited edition. I'm not really sure exactly what, um, what collection this is from but it's called Plaid to the Bone. And these colors are very similar to colors that's in another palette that I have from them what palette is that it has like the blues and the, the blue green but anyway I picked it up and I was like you know what I can pick it up um if all else fails it's just something I have but it has like a, a dark blue in it I'm not even gonna open and swatch it because it's very similar I can't even think of the palette it's the one that has the eight pans in it and that bluish green color um, cause this reminds me of a matte color. Anyway, so I got that. That's the only thing I picked up from the drugstore in like forever. So I was able to get, um, my birthday happy and then I'm VIB Rouge all over again for some reason. So I got that happy. But for my birthday happy, it's the Marc Jacobs, um, it has a lipstick and an eyeliner. So I got those. I actually got two of these. Um, she gave me two. I thought that was really nice. Um... It just says happy birthday. And so let's look at this. So the eyeliner is in. See, I haven't even really opened this stuff because I've been sick. So I haven't had an opportunity. But it's a high highliner gel crayon. And it's basically it's just a really black color. And it turns. So that's gonna be really nice to have. And then there's like a lipstick in here. I love Marc Jacobs packaging. I mean, it's just so sleek and sexy. And if I can get this lipstick out, geez. Look how cute that is, guys. So I don't own a Marc Jacobs full-size lipstick. I do own some uh, lip gloss. Um, so this color is in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Color number 216. And so it's like a mauve pink color. It's really it's really cute really cute um maybe one of these days i get a more jacobs lipstick but it's not something i'm dying to get so i'm just gonna sit that right here because it's so cute and look at that it just compliments everything guys okay so my vib rouge thing um it comes with a what does this come with this bag here never gonna have too many makeup bags so this is a um fresh face it has a cleanser a rose mask and a lotus face cream has that sometimes sephora gives like some really good stuff and then sometimes you're like Ugh. so here's the dr brent micro micro abrasion age defying exfoliator there's a Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb, and so this is supposed to do what? An Aqua Bomb. Mm, smells okay. So apply evenly to the face and neck. Okay, so I guess it's just a cream for your skin. There's a um, solid beauty blender to cleanse your makeup brushes. Um, is this a fresh face thing? No, this is an Origins. Origins what? Vital Zing SPF of 15. So this is a moisturizer with mango steam. Sheer tint release. Okay. So that's good. Oh, and a mascara. They're real, huh? Yeah, I like that. I like this mascara. It's really nice. 
So I think that's about it. What is this? It's some kind of little essay edit type of things. So got that. So I'm gonna put you right there so you can be cute for the video. Okay, so let's talk about the goodies that I got. So I got another Marc Jacobs. As you guys know, I am in love with these lip lacquers from Marc Jacobs. So this one right here that I have is called Hey You. I just hauled it um, some time ago. So I was able to pick up Sugar Sugar. So I'm a big Jaclyn Hill fan. I watched her videos. She was like one of the first YouTubers I came across um, many years ago or sometime. I'm not going to say many years ago, but when I first got on YouTube. Um, so anyway, so and she always talks about Sugar Sugar, um, the lip lacquer. And I was just like, oh my gosh, Sugar Sugar. So every time I go um, to Sephora in my area, they don't have it. So when I was out of town on my birthday i decided okay well let me pick it up because they only actually had one in stock so i went ahead and i got it and why can't i open this so this is really pretty like in the it's like a i'm sure this is going to be really sheer on me i'm going to put it on while i'm making this video um but she always talks about this so it's like can't really even see it So that's what it looks like on top of my lipstick, which is my Kat Von D Lolita. So I said, you know what? I'm going to pick it up because I hear her just rave about this like so much. And I opened this on the wrong end. So I picked up Sugar Sugar. Yay. I got that. And then um, I, I went to MAC. I forgot. I have something from MAC too. So I picked up from MAC the Ariana Grande to the Viva Glam. Did I show this before? If I didn't, I'm showing it to you guys now. So this is from Ariana Grande and it's just a lip gloss. Um, it has really no color to it either, but it's just something I can put in my purse because I like lip glosses. I'm right now. I'm just into lip glosses like crazy. Um, I have actually one that I've actually finished, which is the first one that I've finished in such a long time. And that one's from Mac and that one is called girl about town. Yeah. So I've been working on that one for a while. And so, and then I picked up, um, trying to see if there's anything else in here. Okay. So I picked up from Tarte. So Mac had this, um, what is it called? I'm, I don't even know the collection, but they had this really dark brown, uh, lip paint, lip gloss type of lipstick. And so they were out of it. It was like a brownie color. So I'm, when I was in Sephora, I saw the Tartus lip paint. And this is in grunge. And I was like, oh my gosh, that reminds me so much of the one they had in MAC. And it's just a dark... Look at that, guys. It's so pretty. I was like, I gotta get it. So I got it. And it's pretty. They do have one called Brownie, I believe. They were out of it. Um, so I got that one and it's just like a really dark brown color. Um, so yeah, so and I talked about Jaclyn Hill, right? And I'm gonna do a video on Jaclyn made me buy it because some of the things that I buy from Sephora are because she's like, oh, I just love it like in her video. So it just makes me want to go out and have that same response right so i picked up the becca jacqueline hill this is called the champagne split shimmering skin perfecter and this one is prosecco pop and pamplemousse i believe is what it's called but it's really pretty so this is a collaboration with jacqueline and becca and look at this packaging oh my gosh now I don't wear a lot of makeup to have so many blushes and eye, um, highlighters, but the fact that I saw her rat and rave about this and then I saw them in the store and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. Look at this. It's gorgeous. This highlighter is to die for. It's like a, 
um, golden, golden something. It's just so, and it's soft, guys. And let me show it to you. Look at that. Oh gosh. Look how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And then the eye sh um, eyeshadow. So the, um, okay, now go sit down. And so the blush, okay, so apparently the, um, I don't know which is which. So the blush gotta be, um, what? Pample mousse, and then the Propesco <laughs> Pop is the highlighter. So, and this is more like a corally pink color. And I'm just put it right underneath there. You guys see that? Look how pretty that is. It's pretty. There you go. So I picked that up, and that is like going in my collection. I mean, this is pretty, and I'm gonna wear this. Like it's just amazing. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. Um, so hold on. Let me put my little thingy back in. And I need some more wipes sitting in there, and it didn't have it. Okay, so I'm gonna display some stuff right here just because I think it's so cute for you. Who knows? This might be the backdrop to the, the video. You never know, right? You never know. Put that there. I'm strange today. Okay, so um, on my next trip to Sephora, I picked up, ah, just hit my hand. I picked up some masks because I, um, I wanted to try them. So I picked up the Sephora, the green tea mask, um, because I, don't, I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup during the week. Baby, can you go sit down? And um, so this is the green tea one and this is the pearl face. And so the pearl face is for um, perfecting and brightening. Um, but it's just the pink one. And then the um, green, tea one, green tea one is for mattifying and anti-blemish. So I've heard really great things about these masks. So I'm going to be trying them just to see um, how they work. I just think um, you can't go wrong with taking care of your skin, right? Okay, so and then I told you guys I got another um, little beauty thing for my, birth my birthday. So I'm just going to put that there. And then, um, so let me show you guys something that I got. I have a couple of things that was on clearance as well. So I decided I wanted to try the Kat Von D, um, the Locket Concealer. And this is it. Like, I, I was very skeptic about trying it because I do have... A concealer from Kat Von D and I need to see where I put it because I think it's a concealer I'm pretty sure it was a concealer I know I have the um, thing but I just wanted to try this uh, for one the packaging is gorgeous I mean Kat Von D her packaging is always on point I mean she really goes I mean she's a tattoo artist for one so she's gonna go out of her way to make sure her packaging is just absolutely gorgeous but look at that I mean it's just really pretty now the colors that they had I just felt like um, and I'm gonna put this on on camera because I really want to try this um, I didn't try it on but the color I got was D33 warm but there was a neutral color that I was going to um, I'm just gonna put that under my eye. See how this do. So I wanted to see if this was actually highlight. Um, there was a cool one. There was um, a neutral. Um, and this one I feel like is gonna be more my skin tone. And so I may end up taking this back and getting, cause I really want it for highlighting more than um, coverage, you know, to cover up blemishes. I mean, my foundation will cover up the blemishes. So, yeah, I think I need to get a lighter color in this. So I think I'm gonna take this one back today. I got this one, like I said, in deep 33, it's warm. Um, so I really probably need to go just like a tad lighter. 
So I'm going to put this back because I'm going to take it back. I got some samples of some cologne, um, the YSL Mons Paris. And then I got the um, Olympia. I think that's how you pronounce it because I love perfumes. Um, it smells so good. Oh, my God. Smells so good. And then they have Versace has the new men's Dylan Blue Out. And I was able to get like a small sample size of that. I was intending to give it to my dad on um yesterday, but I didn't think to bring it with me. But look how cute the bottle is. Like I'm really gonna purchase. I love men cologne. I love the smell of it. So anytime like I have a significant other, it's like I buy them cologne because I I love I love men cologne. I just think that is it's just sexy, it's just powerful. It just makes you feel, oh. So I'm always buying my dad um, cologne. I have like probably three, four um, colognes that I have on my list that I really want to buy my dad. So for his birthday and Christmas, he's gonna, he's gonna get a lot of cologne. Okay, so on clearance, um, Sephora had their, this is in dark ebony, it's their Sephora. It's the eight hour wear mattifying compact foundation, but I didn't buy this. It looks like this. I didn't buy it for my complexion because this is like really, really um, too dark for me, um, my foundation. Um, so that's what it looks like. But what I'm gonna do with it is uh, contour, contour with it. And I was trying to find a brush and try it, but let's see. I'm gonna do this on camera, okay? See that? Where I normally can't. How's that look, guys? Tell me if I'm looking like a clown. How we looking? Okay. So, and they had this on sale. It was 75% off. So it was like $5. And then on top of that, they had their Sephora Taunt Infusion. This is their Ethereal Natural Finish Foundation. So it's flawless complexion and weightless texture. And they had this on sale for five dollars and i know this stuff was like 20 something bucks right so i was able to pick it up and the color that i got um was in mocha number 50 and so i think this is like my color i mean i tried it on in the store and it matched perfectly so that's it right there and I just said, you know what, well, I'm going to pick it up. You never can have too many. It blends in perfectly on my skin. But you can have never have too many foundations, right? Wrong, because I have a lot. Um, but it was $5, so I picked it up. And that was like the only one that they had left. So I felt like it was meant for me to have. So I picked that up. And so, yeah, so that's it that I got from Sephora. And so... I've been dying, guys, and I say dying because it's it's the truth. I've, I've been dying, like, to get my hands on something of Tom Ford, right? I got a lipstick. <laughs> so my sister, she um, went to a Tom Ford store, like, you know, like, I guess the whole little setup of Tom Ford in a mall somewhere. Um, she was... The one I wanted is, uh, the two that I want is called Drake and Jay. So they're named after the rappers. And they come out next Friday. So I have the young lady's um, card. So she is with Tom Ford Beauty and the Mall of America. And so um, I'm going to be giving her a call so she can ship it for me. So the color my sister picked up was Black Dahlia because I wanted a dark lipstick, right? But look at this packaging. Like, I'm really just going to have to do, like, um, a Tom Ford. Like, it's, oh, my gosh, this is gorgeous. I'm going to just have to do a Tom Ford um, video. 
because I want like I wanted something that was Christian Dior and I actually got um, this like a uh, lip color I don't know what this is called but I got this maybe like a year ago and it's one of my favorite I love the formula of this um, I just I like high-end stuff YSL gorgeous packaging um, that's what sells and I have two or three YSL lipsticks love it so I'm gonna have to do like a high-end um, video collection or collection video but Tom Ford I just been dying for one the name his packaging is beautiful and the color that I wanted was like more of the darker color. I don't even want to swatch this because it has an initial. Um, I'm just like into darker lipsticks these days. And I always got onto my mom about wearing dark lipstick. I was like, why are you wearing dark lipstick? But look at that. It's just beautiful. And so, um, yeah. So now like I'm into dark lipstick. And I said... Um, yesterday the breast cancer awareness that my mom was always say put my lipstick on and I have her lipstick somewhere here and I don't know, hold on hold on uh, no 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 I thought I did guys so anyway so I have her dark lip I still have like her dark lipstick and I'm just like I gotta pull it out because like now it's like I love it but this is the Tom Ford um, Black Dahlia it's number 10 and it's called the lip color it's a lip um, uh, a matte lip color and so that is it right there guys yeah so my first Tom Ford um, lipstick Tom Ford anything my sister did pick up the Tom Ford foundation I'm gonna see if I can take it and so I can review it for you guys that would be wonderful right say yes thumbs up this video if you want me to take her foundation to do a review um but this these are my happies guys this is like my birthday happies to myself except for this one this is for my sister um but yeah I um I'm looking forward to like testing all of this out and so hopefully the next couple of days I start feeling better and better and I can actually um bring back a review okay so before my battery died i was letting you guys know that i picked up three of these um lip glides from nars omg guys like i didn't even know nars was coming out with anything like this um but these are called the velvet lip glides and the colors i picked up are bound toy and area and let me show you these colors. And I purposely didn't put any lip, um, anything back on my lips. Um, I've eaten and went to Sephora. But I wanted to show you guys this because I'm gonna put um, put one of these on. So this is called Area. And this is like a really dark brown color. So like I told you guys, I'm really into the dark lippies right now. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. I hate to even swatch that, but look, I mean, that is so, so, so pretty. I mean, I have this makeup tutorial I want to do for you guys, and oh my gosh, this is a dark lip. Okay, so this one is called Bound. I wanted to put the, the area on, but it just is, it's not going to go with my makeup look. So this one is like a nude pink color, um, and the here it looks like it's a mauve color, but it's oh my gosh it's it's really neutral if you guys can see right above that brown color it's like really really neutral and these feel like just rubbing it on my hand it feels really good um but they're supposed to be like it goes on like a a, a lipstick it's supposed to be like a matte lipstick a uh, lip gloss um this one is called toy and I, I was very skeptical if I wanted to get this one or not, only because I have so many colors like this, but that's that dark cherry uh, wine color. Um, but I ended up getting it anyway. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's to die for. Look at that. Not to really to die for, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Focus. Look at that. 
so pretty so i really want to put on um and this is kind of like a first impression as well so i'm gonna put on bound and i'm not sure if i'm gonna even put a lip pencil on probably not and it smells like candy mm, smells so good Yeah, that's it guys. And these are so light and the packaging is gorgeous. I mean, you can't go wrong with NARS. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know. And these were like $26 a piece. The whites are $7.50. Um, so yeah, so I'll be doing some looks with this. I, I want to do, I have all of these ideas in my head about makeup tutorials. Um, and it's just sitting down, getting it done. And sometimes I'm like, I can do this. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, I really don't feel like doing it. And then when I do feel like doing it, it's like late at nighttime. So strange as it may be. Yes. So, um, I want to swatch this grunge right beside, um, oh, what color? Area. What color is that? Toy area? Yeah, area. So this is the one that's by um, Tarte. And these are like <laughs> brother and sister. The one by NARS just have more of a gloss to it. But, and because this is more matte and the other one is more like a velvet, but that's it right there. They're brother and sister. So yeah, so I have a problem guys. I have an addiction. Because there's no way I wear all of this makeup, right? Of course not. But it's just the thought of having them. But um, let me show you. This is like the Bosha um, cleansing cloth. They're not exfoliating. Um, but the ones from Sephora are exfoliating. And everybody and their mother like really must love these things because they go quickly. Um, these are not... Um, black however when you say exfoliating means like these have like more of like the little um the ridge things on the side so it's whenever you're taking your makeup off you're also going to be getting like dead skin off and these are more just black so they and that's what i really love about these cloths because they are black but they do pretty much the same thing um I, I tend to like the Bosha ones better. I think maybe because of the black color. Um, but the Sephora ones I like because they are exfoliating. And they do more than just the huggy wipe. So like whenever you go to wipe off stuff. Let me show you. So and you have that. Um, those little tacky things on the back. It just get your it gets your makeup off and you can actually feel the grittiness on that side so i would say like take your makeup off with the smooth side and then like on this side right here just go over it and just get all the the dead skin off of your face even if like you don't have any makeup on if you just really need to exfoliate i would say just use this because you i mean it, it has that grit to it um that will get your skin exfoliated i, I really like these wipes i mean yeah, so I did pick up a couple of samples of, one is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. Um, it's kind of like a silvery pink that you put on your skin, so I picked up one of those. And then Coach has a new um, perfume out, and I have it on right now because I sprayed it in store. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I don't need any more perfume, but they keep coming out with all this great stuff, and I need to clean clean out this bin over here with perfume but it's in a pink container um the packaging is really pretty especially the bottle of it so i got a sample um of that as well and so i always keep my sephora receipts and yeah i wish there was like an app where you can put in your sephora receipts so you can just trash all the other ones that you have like the paper receipts so yeah so that guys um, concludes my haul so the one thing I do want to get um, they don't have it in my Sephora is the new um, matte the new metal matte 
uh, Kat Von D palette. So I know it's out right now, but I want I do want to get that because I love her shadows. I need to use this one over here like everything else that I have, but um, I do want to get that palette. Um, so I'm going to be making a list because they have the VIB sale coming up, I think like in November. Um, um, so yeah, I have a list of things I want to get. So I'm going to be saving my coins so that I can purchase a huge amount of products for the next VIB sale. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some makeup tutorials. I promise guys, I think things, like I said, the month of October is like really, really, um, busy for me. Um, I have a couple of trips planned for this month as well. Um, so maybe I do some vlogging or whatever, but has have some good things that's going on. But I want to come do that. I got to grab some stuff and then I got to head over to my sister's house because she starts her new job tomorrow. So I'm going to help her get her business attire together so she can step in there and be fierce, honey. Be fierce. Okay, so I will see you guys later. Bye.